the cover of Science Times this week, we catch up with the Mars rover Curiosity on the occasion of its first anniversary on the Red Planet. Reporter Kenneth Chang is here to tell us about a new interactive feature on our website that will enable readers to satisfy their curiosity about curiosity. Hi, Ken. Hi, David. So uh, before we talk about the interactive, which is, I've seen it, it's fabulous. Um, what about the curiosity? Um, it landed a year ago, and as I recall, there was great excitement. Right, so this is pretty incredible. They, the rover is about the size of a car, and it's, it was coming into Mars at 13,000 miles per hour. And you know, there's a planet there, and it has seven minutes to get from 13 miles per hour to zero on the surface. It had to do all these contortions. It had a heat shield and a parachute. Then it had rockets. Um, and then it actually got lowered by a crane that lowered the rover onto the surface. And it all worked perfectly so that um, seven minutes later, they were on Mars. They didn't NASA call it seven minutes of terror or something like right, that? Right, and yeah. it was actually sort of, the people in the control room actually had zero control over it because the delay of, of if any radio signals from Mars getting to Earth, by the time they actually got notice of it, that the rover had entered the atmosphere, actually it was already on the planet. And it was just a question of them finding out whether it was in one piece or many pieces. Well, by golly, it worked. And the Curiosity has been sending back pictures for a year now and uh, doing scientific experiments. Talk about its mission. What is it there to accomplish? So this is a much bigger rover than, than the Spirit and Opportunity, which had gone there some years earlier. So right now, it has a huge chemistry laboratory on it. And over the past few decades, NASA has really been building the case of looking for water on Mars. They're actually looking to see whether the building blocks for life, which is carbon-based molecules, are actually there. And what is it finding? The first time they, they used their drill, they looked at um, the mineralogy, and they found clays, which is really remarkable because, because that in case that there was not only water here um, at this part of Mars, which is a big crater, so it was like a freshwater lake, but it was also fairly benign, so it had a relatively um, neutral pH. The uh, rover is now on a mission to uh, a geographical feature called M Mount Sharp. What's that all about? So there's this 96 mile wide crater called Gale Crater. And somehow at the middle of this, there's a three mile high mountain. And for geologists, this is great because they, have, they can see that there's all these layers of rocks in there. So if, if you look at it layer by layer, you sort of get a history of, of Mars, the geology, and, the, and in the geology, you can tell the, the climate and the conditions over time. And at the base of this mountain, they saw from orbit that there were clays here. So they want to see how habitable this part of Mars was you know, three and a half, four billion years ago. And as they move higher from on this mountain, they'll see how the, the climate and it, the conditions changed over time. So talk about uh, what we're doing online to uh, help readers follow uh, the mission. So NASA's been good and they, they, have, they send back all the pictures that um, Curiosity takes and they put it on their website. So this interactive collects that and, and um, summarizes what Curiosity has been doing each soul by soul and it's interactive so you can actually see where um, Curiosity has been over the past year. Time out. Soul by soul? Yes. So, so spelled, that's S-O-L, So right? S-O-L, no. which is yeah. the name of our sun. Mm -hmm. And that's what the scientists use for the, the Martian day, which is only slightly different from Earth Day. It's about 24 hours and 40 minutes, so slightly longer than Earth Day. So uh, you, all you have to do is, is click on a, on a day or soul and you'll find out what uh, the rover accomplished on that day? Right, so there'll be a short description of what the rover did on a particular day, and then there's some images of that it took um, on that day as well. Sounds really cool. nytimes.com slash science. I've been speaking with reporter Ken Chang. Thanks, Ken. Thank you.